All right. Well, hello there. This is Alan from AltaWorks. I'm here with Jamie as Join well, the uh, meeting. Vice President of, of Channel Development. And we're going to go over our UCAS platform and our Catapult platform today. Uh, a couple of housekeeping items as we get started. Uh, first thing is this conference, conference call is being recorded. Uh, so we'll have this posted on our YouTube channel after this. And we'll be able to send you an email link with the contents after the call is over. Uh, additionally, if you want to use the chat function to have any questions submitted, we'll, we will read those and answer those at the end of the presentation. Uh, so just use that function to submit any questions you have, and we'll be glad to uh, get those answered when we're all done, said and done here. Uh, that said, Jamie, if you want to uh, start us off maybe by giving us a little history of the company. Thank you, Alan. I'd be glad to. Again, thank you guys for joining today. We want to talk a little bit about um, AltaWorks and how we got started and how the Catapult program came into existence and hopefully um, you guys will find some of this information beneficial today. Um, so we began, or actually AltaWorks was founded in 2003 by Ricky Ritchie and I had the privilege of being a part of that um, back in 2003. Ricky and I started out as a Bell South Alliance channel partner and we sold carrier services internet along with voice over IP phone system. So Ricky's vision through all of this was to build a company that provided this leading edge technology but focused on helping customers drive revenue, control ex expenses, and increase productivity. So as a Bell South partner, we earned gold status and later became a master agent in that program and we began working with agents all over the country um, as our network through, we saw that we needed a reliable SIP trunking service that we could offer to our agents for them to sell and for our uh, customers as well. So we began building our infrastructure to support and launch into becoming our own carrier. So in about 2013, uh, Ricky got an email from AT&T Partner Exchange and he just had, he saw the potential in this program and he jumped in and said, this is what we're doing. We're going to build our business and we're going to have recurring revenue, build our brand. And this program allowed us to resell AT&T IP products like voice, data, mobility, but also to um, allow us to bundle in um, our SIP trunking solutions and hosted PBX. So, so the partner exchange program really allowed us to extend our services to a wider variety of customers, including government education and medical organizations that had really been untouchable um, for AltaWorks prior to the APEX program. So in about 2014, uh, AltaWorks was awarded the Platinum Ascend Award for uh, AT&T Partner Exchange, and that was a, a really, um, great honor with a top producer. We, we really drank the Kool-Aid for that program. Um, we became the first partner to reach Platinum Elite status, and today we operate a cloud-based voice solution um, that operates out of two AT&T data, AT data centers located in Dallas and in Atlanta. So we have expanded our footprint and now serve customers in, I believe, 40 states as of today, Canada and Mexico. So we own our own network operations uh, center. We work with Red.io Billing Platform, which was recently awarded uh, the best billing and provisioning software by Software World uh, for 2020. Uh, we have made the Inc. 5000 list for three years running. And most recently, TMC Labs awarded us uh, the Internet Telephony Innovation Award for our UCAS Catapult feature, which is what we're here to talk through and about today. Well, all right, Jamie. So with all that said, do you want to talk a little bit about some of the um, UCAS Catapult features? Uh, that'd be great. Um, so with businesses becoming more and more reliant on internet services, whether it's for e-commerce, point of sale systems, uh, remote workers or the need for unified communications, UCAS is becoming a must-have for businesses as they adapt to the current state um, of our country and, and the world, really. Um, 
So we've definitely seen a trend even prior to 2020 that the industry really needs UCAS. And customers are driving the need for MSPs, trusted agents, consultants, uh, phone vendors to manage that UCAS platform for them. The technology changes quickly. The average customer doesn't have the time to stay on top of all of the evolving changes, the security, um, to keep their network from being vulnerable. So customers want one part, point of contact for all of their network issues. It's, MSPs really have a, an advantage in this area. Um, MSPs are, are managing their customer network and the infrastructure, and UCAS creates this seamless experience for the customers and removes the, that finger pointing between network carrier and SIP provider. So all in all, um, UCAS is a great way to grow your business and allows you to move forward with some things that, um, that you're already touching um, in that space. So let's move forward. Uh, but I, I want to make sure that we, we talk through a couple of scenarios. And before we just all jump into selling UCAS, we need to think about um, a few things first. So uh, I'm sure you've all heard some horror stories about taxation and compliance um, regulations and FCC fines. And, and trust me, those stories are real. They're out there. We had a new one that was released uh, earlier this week. Um, you know, some people just jump in and they say, you know what, UCAS is the way I'm going to continue to build my business, and they believe they can work around the laws, or they don't have to tax voice because it's running over the internet, or, and, and I've even heard people um, are just paying sales and use tax and thinking that they're covered, um, and that's simply not true. And, and really that's how Catapult came about. And, um, and how that feature began. So I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the, the solution and the benefits and, and what Catapult can do for you. Um, so the Catapult feature was created after 16 years in the telecom industry and really based on our own experience. Um, we were stuck in some, some rough times for a bit. We were manual, manually calculating taxes we were trying to find and comply with each different taxing authority, uh, maintaining and tracking multiple software platforms to try to balance and audit all of those transactions. Uh, at AltaWorks, we wanted to collect the proper taxes. We wanted to own our customer, build recurring revenue, and build equity value, and have the ability to scale and expand into new markets. But we're spending so much time manually calculating and trying to make sure that we were billing correctly and unraveling these different taxing authorities um, for filings that, that we just couldn't scale. So we partnered with GSA and RevIO to build out a feature that would allow our resellers and agents to leverage the AltaWorks existing regulatory registrations without the initial expense that we had already invested in and to benefit from adding UCAS to your existing platform or portfolio of products. Jamie, what are some of the features really that stand out with our UCAS platform? So resellers are choosing um, a UCAS platform based on a lot of different criteria. Um, some of the things that, that we have seen um, and that we've had success with um, was we have a minimal cost to get started with our UCAS platform. Uh, it is white labeled for your business, which, which really supports you being able to go to market with a product that has your label on it, that has your name on it, and, and can, you can be proud of, um, really builds your brand. So we have an existing infrastructure that's built on the AT&T network, and we offer um, QoS, uh, geo-redundancy with our colo. We have robocall blocking in place, um, carries law. 
Uh, we include toll fraud prevention. We have taxation and compliance built into our catapult feature. Um, we are also very close to launching our ConnectWise integration. So if, if anyone is a part of the ConnectWise community, um, please let us know and we'll be glad to keep you up to date on, on when that will be launched. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot that goes into a UCAS platform that has that redundancy that is built in. And it doesn't necessarily sound like, oh, I'll just start a UCAS platform, but then when you start building this business and you have all of the different elements that have to be taken into consideration, it is a large investment. So that is why we have offered and we have built out the, our UCAS platform so that you can take advantage of what is already in place. Um, so we utilize the NetSapiens platform, and we're going to give you just a quick glimpse into that portal now. So this is the home page of the portal. Uh, it can be branded for your business. It will be as a reseller with AltaWorks so that your end customers have no question about who's providing their service. The portal is user friendly with graphs for peak call times, usage stats, users and application numbers at a glance. You can quickly go into the web phone from the user login, which is on the top in the center in blue here. And you can conduct business from your laptop or tablet, um, even without a desk phone. Uh, this platform also includes a soft phone app, which is available to be white labeled for iOS and Android platforms. And it's integrated with NetSapiens for ease of use and for data analytics. So if you make a call on your cell phone app, those analytics transfer into the web portal so that you can um, track calls uh, from wherever they're made. And we've really seen how important that has become lately, haven't we? Absolutely. Absolutely. With everything uh, changing in our world uh, with the pandemic, people, you know, we were able to pick up phones and go home or pick up our laptop and go home and never miss a beat. And that is exactly what people are looking for today, you know, if something like this happens again in the future or when, um, they want that capability. So extremely important um, in our world today. Absolutely. So this is one of my favorite features of NetSapiens, the call center dashboard, and it's just a very robust um, view of what's going on in your business or in a particular call queue. So this is something that as an Altworks reseller you have access to and uh, n at no charge, no extra cost from Altworks. Now this is a powerful feature that will help you win business and that you can monetize. So you know, this is another way that, that we support your success. We want you to be successful and um, this is a value add that we're able to offer to you so that you can bill your end customers for it and, and not have to pay for it yourself. So the module provides a customizable dashboard that, you can, uh, that each customer can manage themselves. It can be displayed on a TV or simply used by management as an additional tool. Um, it also includes some custom reporting and those can be emailed or pulled as needed, you know, whatever your client's needs are. So let's talk a little bit about Catapult. Yeah, so, so what is Catapult? Uh, I know I've talked a lot about it already, but um, it's a complete solution, really. It's providing you with tried and true products and services a custom billing instance for your business, taxation and compliance coverage, along with the NetSapiens custom branded portal. And that allows you to set up your own product portfolio, bundles and pricing structure so that you can control your margins and ultimately build your business equity value. That's, that's what we're all here to do is build business equity value. You know, as you grow, you don't 
you, you need that equity value. So let's um, let me show you really quickly um, the billing instance just to give you an idea of of what this looks like. So we've got a an example customer here. Uh, this is the profile um, of the account, and you'll notice at the top it shows the balance overdue account status and cycle information in, in the blue box. Um, underneath that, in green, you'll see that there are a couple of tags there, and those are customizable. There are some that automatically go in uh, for you, and then you can add a tag and customize those based on your specific business needs. In the profile section, customer profile section underneath that, um, that's where your customer's email address, payment terms, collection templates, where you can choose your collection verbiage that you want to use for that particular customer. Um, you can pull unbilled usage reports or CDRs. Um, all those things can be found there. And, and then notice um, also at the top there are additional tabs on the left-hand side and at the top um, for other related information. You can, you've got a, a place to store your contacts, your addresses, um, related, that's going to be if you have parent-child accounts and you need to relate those locations together, you can do that there. Um, also, a place for attachments. All right, and then this next section, you have your billing and collections. Um, and this is, again, on the account page underneath your profile. Um, so this is where you would find your invoices, your ledger, unposted charges, as well as payment history, and where you can manage your client payment account information, or where they have that information stored. So this is all uh, PCI compliant. Um, so it, it's, it's a really great way to be able to manage a lot of information. And then on the next section, this is where all of your services live. So you have um, service lines here, and then and we can't—I can't show you this. But if you get, if you want, would like to do an in-depth demo, I can show you this. That for every service line, you have products that are underneath that, and that's where you get to build out your products and services, and you can attach those to a service line. So, uh, phone number, and then you may have a, a UCAS seat with a hundred. Um, included local and long distance minutes for $20. And that's where you would have that underneath there. So that's where all of your products and services live that do your automated billing for you each month. All right, what, what's the customer portal look like here? So your customer portal is, is one of the biggest advantages that, that we feel like we can offer. Um, we know to our direct customers, but it was really important for us to include the Enterprise Customer Portal for um, our Catapult resellers as well. Um, it's a very powerful tool. Uh, customers need a place where they can go and manage their account, pull information, and, and that's what this is. So one of the advantages um, that you get with going with the Catapult platform is this is included for you um, if you went directly with uh, Revio, it is a separate um, module. So we believe that this is a game changer when it comes to acquiring um, medium to enterprise size business clients, um, especially those with uh, parent-child relationships or multi-location um, accounts. Um, this gives the ability to add users to an individual location. So if, if there's a um, accounts payable at each individual location, and they only need access to that one location, then you can build that out uh, in this customer portal. There's also reporting in here. You can see what products and services that you have. Um, you can see the service lines. It's not as detailed as what I showed you on the previous um, screen, of course, but um, this gives them a lot of the information that they're looking for that keeps them from having to call you every time they have a question. They also, we, we store their payment information in here, so if they need to make an update to that, they can do that. Um, they can go in and they can pull invoices, so they've got that historical uh, invoice data in there as well. Well, good deal. So kind of wrapping this up, let's go over some of the overall benefits for this ecosystem. 
so uh, we feel like there's a lot of benefits. So we know that, you know, overall, we know that business equity matters. And without good equity in your business, um, you know, your investors, you will suffer financially. So we strive to help build our clients' equity by offering them, you know, this catapult system. And often we find that organizations that choose to ignore the taxation and the regulatory compliance requirements for products and services, um, it reduces their equity value of their business. So outstanding tax liabilities never go away. If a business owner or investor wants to exit the business via a sale, maybe that's the exit strategy for a customer, they may find that the value of the organization is greatly diminished or even eliminated um, due to the failure to register with the taxing authorities. So, um, you know, collecting proper taxes, remitting payments to the correct government body, um, this, you know, it negatively impacts expenses and stability. Uh, but overall, the image projected by the company, um, especially at the time of sale. Um, so our catapult system is designed to protect your business and its equity by ensuring that the company collects the correct taxes from their clients. Now, I, I have um, a, a quick story to share with you. We, we at AltaWorks were looking for a business to purchase, a UCAS business to purchase. And we, when going through due diligence, found um, lots of com companies that that were potentials, but when we started to go into that due diligence process, we found that the majority of the businesses were not collecting the proper taxes. So when we have to go back and, you know, counter offer or we feel the need to say, Miss, you know, I'm sorry, sir, but your business is not worth what you thought it was and we'll be glad to help. Um, get you in contact with someone who can help you. That's not something anybody that is trying to sell their business wants to hear. So we really want to educate and um, as much as possible and just let everyone know what the consequences of some of those things are. We, we find that a lot of times people just don't know what they should be collecting and what they should be um, charging. Um, and, and it's it's complicated. Um, it's absolutely complicated, and and that's why this program was created was to help you know take what we've experienced and put it in a format that you can leverage when you get to a certain threshold and you you want to take it out on your own. That's absolutely something you can do. Um, so it if you guys would you know like to to talk to us more about that. Um, we would love to hear from you. I've got some links that are going to come out in the deck where you can um, schedule some time with our team. We can do a, a deep dive catapult demo. Um, we can do a UCAS demo for you. But I encourage you to use the resources that I have here on this page. Um, watch through the GSA Altworks Catapult Program. That's a great video with um, the CEO of GSA and um, I think that it would be beneficial. Um, so if you don't listen to anything I say today, check those out. Um, and I, I think that is all I have. Um, if we have any questions that have come in, I'll be glad to take those now. Well, I'm looking and I'm not sure that I see um, that any questions have come in. So okay. um, that's, I don't know if you had anything else you wanted to go over at all. So, um, as Jamie was saying, we we were gonna uh, or we were gonna send out a follow up email with these uh, the slide deck, which will have these links in it. Um, the two links at the bottom there are to our calendar, so you can set up a consultation to go over this in a little more depth. Um, and then the top ones are there some links that you can just uh, videos you can watch and things like that. Uh, we'll be sending that out to you uh, sometime tomorrow when everything is done, and then there will be a follow-up with this 
uh, recording of this webinar as well will, will be included in that, and it will again be on our YouTube channel. Um, and Jamie, if there's nothing else, I think we can go on and let everybody go and, and um, get this taken care of. Looks like we have one question um, from yep, Daniel, just come and in. he's asking how to get in contact with me, and I will be glad to send you my information um, once we get off the call. Absolutely. If, if anyone has anything else, I'll, I'm just going to hang around for just a few more minutes and see if anything else pops in. But right. Thank you very much well, for, for spending your time with us today. Thank you, everybody.